Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tip in VS Code for really simple, easy console logs. It's awesome. Uh, so let's get into it. This is going to be a really fast video. This is going to save you so much time, especially if you're logging a lot of stuff. So how many times have you ever come into your code and you're like, I'm really wondering if this is logo large value. What is this value at what point? And then maybe you copy that value and you do maybe like a CLG to do this, then you paste that out of here. And then maybe you want to know exactly what this is. So you put it in a string and comma like this. I do this somewhat frequently. Um, my keyboard is not behaving today. Uh, as you can see here, when I do this, well, it, if my keyboard would have behaved, it, it wouldn't have taken that long, but it still would have taken a decent amount of time. And when we come back to our site, I know my CPU is struggling a little bit, but you can see we get output. The string is logo large false, is logo large false, and then lastly is logo large true. So every single time this renders, this console log is firing. Uh, I, I find myself doing this quite a bit, and uh, it definitely takes up a little bit of time. It's not like the most painful thing, but the amount of time that it takes to write log uh, could be completely avoided. So let's figure out a way to make this better. I found an extension called wrap console log. Now this extension is not maybe that different than some of other of these. These are, there's a lot of console log wrapping plugins. This just happens to be the one that I found and liked and took care of my use cases. Now, if you have another console logging extension that you like more and you look at this one, you say this mine's better for these reasons, let me know. Uh, my particular use case is simply just logging out what I'm seeing here. So let's check it out what this thing can do. Basically, you can type in a variable hit the keyboard shortcut and have it wrap in console log. Simple enough. But the cooler way is to have your cursor on a variable already, hit a shortcut and have it log out. What's amazing about this is you can even have a specific keyboard shortcut to log it out with the prefix of a string, like you can see right here, just like we were doing. This is a, oh, a keyboard shortcut. This is awesome, right? In addition, there's a whole bunch of other options to log things out. It retains your indents. It does some little nice stuff. You can have custom prefixes. Now let's talk about how I made this even better. I made this even better by coming into my keyboard shortcuts. If you just go to VS Code Preferences, um, let's go Keyboard Shortcuts right here or Command K. Now, I don't know about you, but I never ever use Command L. Do you use Command L? If you use Command L for anything, let me know what it is that you use it in particular. I never use Command L. So I figured log Command L seems like a great way to take the most used thing out of here. So what I did is I took the uh, wrap down prefix console log, uh, which the previous extension, let me tell you, was not super fun. It was like control shift option W down. I mean, come on, who's remembering that? So because of that, these shortcuts are really awful, like the actual shortcuts, I would tweak the ones that you use or plan on using. So I took the standard prefix down and just set the key binding to command L. So now inside of my header to do that same thing that we did before, command L, boom, is header shadow, boom, check it out. This thing is going to save me so much time. Uh, because, you know, sometimes VS Code can lag a little bit, and when you do CLG tab, okay, it works, it works, it works. But sometimes, well, it doesn't work, right? Like there, it doesn't work. CLG tab, hmm. Okay, if you goof it up while you're typing it. So this command L, again, is going to save me so much time, and I hope it saves you some time. And again, if you have a different extension you like to see from this, let me know. I use wrap console log and it saves my butt all the time. So check it out. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this quick little snippet on how to improve your speed while logging things in VS Code. Hope it helps. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.